I'm a Jew, and here are some of the things that I would like to say to the state of Israel. One, get the out of Palestine. Get out. Get out. Stop the ethno-nationalist project. Leave them alone. Two, what are you doing with the ground invasion into Lebanon? What are you doing? Leave Yemen alone. Stop trying to carve up Syria. Your kids are not more important than their kids. Your attempts to use the legacy of the Holocaust, the legacy of my family, to justify the kinds of evils that you are committing right now is inexcusable. And young Jewish folks the world over know that that is what you're doing. You are weaponizing our parents and our aunties and uncles and our grandparents' trauma in order to justify your violence. It's despicable. We are done with you telling us that everyone hates us and we are done with your attempts at emotional and psychological manipulation. You're embarrassing yourself. Mr. Elias, what do you have to say about this whole issue? See, the first rule of Islam and Allah Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is that no innocent man, woman and child should be killed. Israel has killed more than 3 lakh innocent Palestinians in the last 70 years. This is also oppression and barbarity. And if in retaliation Hamas is attacking and killing women and children, then it is also barbarity and deserves to be punished. The second point is that the Westerners who bought the Jews of Israel and established the Balfour Declaration in Palestine are the same Westerners who barbarically ruled India for 200 years and destroyed it and again they are destroying Palestine through Israel. The third and important point is that every time Israel breaks the rules and agreements of international conventions United Nations and now it has stopped the food and water supply of more than 20 lakh Palestinians and plans to kill them in mass genocide. And for that every good nation is condemning Israel and its tyrant supporters. The fourth and last point is, from Mahatma Gandhi to Vajpayee and from Vajpayee to Narendra Modi the stand of India is clear in the United Nations that Israel should accept Palestine as an independent state. The fighting should stop and the two-state theory should be implemented, Palestine will rule independently. From Jerusalem to the surrounding areas, and Israel will rule from Tel Aviv. A tyrant like Netanyahu is not understanding this whole issue. Mr. Elias, I want to know that you are saying that Jews are committing oppression against Palestine, but the incident that we have seen three days ago, is it the right way to counter an opposition, the way women and children were killed? Is this the right way? Every next day Israel kills innocent women and children and no news channels broadcast it, there's no debate about it and you never invite me. 3 lakh innocent women and children have been killed by Israel it is also oppression and terrorism. The innocent women and children killed by Hamas it is also terrorism. Strict action should be taken against both of them and they should be punished till they regain their senses and all the lives of innocents are saved. BJP MPs were speaking against terrorism. I appreciate it. Sadhvi Pragya terrorist. These are the people who released terrorist Colonel Purohit and made him a member of parliament. He is the one who killed innocent Indians in a masjid with a bomb blast and Shaheed Hemant Karkar have exposed him.